Hello, hello, Crystal here. Welcome to another video. Hello, hello, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Interactive Immersive HQ. And in this video, I'm going to cover how to integrate the Stream Deck Plus by Elgato with your Touch Designer workflow. And just to let you know, we're not sponsored by Elgato in any way. This is just advice I got over the holidays and something I have been really enjoying having in my workflow and I want to share with the community. So what is the Stream Deck? The Stream Deck is like a MIDI device slash iPad where you can have buttons, toggles, and custom icons for it. There's a bunch of plugins where you can use it for different applications. And for this model, it also has knobs and they actually access buttons and a screen where you can swipe so you can have multiple pages for your Stream Deck. There's also a Stream Deck phone app if you don't feel like committing for a physical device yet, but I haven't really played with the phone app, so I'm not sure how well the phone app is. At first, I wasn't really sure how in general I would use this device since I don't really stream or play games, but after playing with it for a day, I was pretty much sold. So I'm excited to show you all more and how you can use it in touch designer and there's different ways this is just how i've been using it and i hope you enjoy so this is my stream deck device you can see there's buttons over here there's the screen and also knobs that also acts as buttons what's really cool about the screen is that you can actually use it to swipe so you can have multiple pages and again you can see here that you can use this as a button too. One thing to note is that the Stream Deck Plus, it has like this kickstand, which makes it easier to see the icons, but because of the kickstand, it's maybe a little more difficult to transport it if you are using it as a portable device that you want to use for shows or something. Okay, when you want to use the Stream Deck, you need to download their application on their website and download using Windows or Mac. I already downloaded this application. I'll show you over here. So this is how the app looks like. It's a pretty simple, straightforward UI system where it has all these kind of preset plugins that you can drag and drop down. You can copy and delete them. It's fun. You can actually give them names. So you can call this like play and you can choose where you want this. If you want the text to be bigger, what font you want them to be, if you want to be in bold, if you want to have in the center, top, even change the different icons. So you can use one of their standard icons or you can even download your own icon and set it. I'm gonna delete this. Let's talk about Touch Designer. There's many ways you can integrate Stream Deck into Touch Designer. You can use APIs, you can use OSC, you can use MIDI. Although there's not a Touch Designer plugin to use directly into Stream Deck, unfortunately. They should make one though. <laughs> and we, the HQ actually made a video on how to use API into Stream Deck a while ago, and I'll put the link to the tutorial in the description below. But in this video, I'm gonna cover how to use a MIDI plugin. What we'll first do is download this MIDI plugin. You can click on this kind of like app store thing, put in MIDI. And it won't be the first thing that comes up, it'll be like the top right one, this MIDI music option. And I already installed it, so you can install this app over here. It'll be really quick. And once you install it, it'll, you'll find it into your keys on the bottom. And also, it'll also be there on your dials too. Before we can use this, you also need to download one more thing, which is the Loop MIDI app. I'll also put the link into the description, but you can just download this Loop MIDI and that will enable the plugin to direct a MIDI port. So you can change the MIDI port into Loop MIDI port for MIDI in and MIDI out. So I will first show you how the button works and then I'll cover the MIDI dial. And if we want to use this into Touch Designer, we also need to connect the MIDI into Touch Designer. So in a dialog, I will have a MIDI device map. And you click on Create New Mapping and choose Device to be Loop MIDI. Awesome. 
let's clear this just because I want it like to be clean. And you can put a MIDI in. Cool, cool. And if you notice, like once you press it, you get this like error. It's kind of dark over there. Here you can see it. You get this error over here. And what gives? So we'll just click on this and let's do a few things here. I'm going to have this be channel one. So each button can be a different channel. And this command, just select three, something that's empty. And I'm going to talk about different of these buttons. I'm going to first set this as a toggle. And now if we press it, you got something. Now you notice once I press it, the value is 127, which is a lot. I <laughs> see on a value on is set to be 127. You can set it to be one, so it can be zero to one. Back into the application, let me just copy and paste this a few times. So this one, I'll set this as toggle and I'm gonna call this toggle so I know what's happening over here. And this one, I'm going to change the channel to B2 and have this to be V port and name this to be V port. And it's cool where you can see the icon change in real time and you also see it on the physical device, V port. And third one, I'm going to have it as a hold. I'll change the channel to be a three. I'm going to copy this and paste it. The last one, I'll have it to be a fader. So now when I press these, you'll see I'm getting different things. And right now, I press hold or fader, it's having only one channel. And that is because both channels are on three. So I forgot to change this to be channel four. I'll call this a fader. So now if I press it, it has its own channel. Okay. Cool, cool. So what are these different type of buttons? So toggle, same as a toggle button. Over here you can have an option to have a toggle up. Let's toggle. Same thing, value one, zero. Like this touch designer button, V pot. But one thing about this is when it's set for a dials up to 127 and it's stuck in 127. And there's a parameter option over here where you can actually do it both ways, which is kind of fun where you can have it like a double click and then it starts going down. Go up, and down and you can see the dial goes over here. And the hold is solid once you hold it. And for fader, it kind of has the same problem with the V port where it gets to the total max, which is 127. But then I'm not sure how do I get it back down or kind of control it without just going into the physical app. So over here, I could choose that I actually want to go back down and the speed of it. But once I go down, I'm not sure how to get back up. So these are the buttons. And then the dial, fun, fun dial. I'm going to copy and paste this a few times. So this current dial, the max is 127. So you can twist this to be a 127. And right now you see all three dials are moving because all three dials are moving because they're all in the same channel. So let's change this channel to be five, this to be a six, and this to be a seven. So now when I change this, it's only changing the first one. And you see that the max being 127, then I have to kind of roll a lot to get to the max. And over here, you can have options for steps. So maybe I only want to do it in steps of five, so it's faster. But it's not as helpful if I'm using into Touch Designer because then your, your, your numbers are going to also step fast. Set this to be 50 and this to be um, 1. That it will just stop at 50. Let's over here, let's change it to a different type. So rather than being display, display V port, I'm going to have this as a fader 
And this one I'll show you as a horizontal bar. And same thing, you can dial them here, have it to be 127, you can set it lower, but it'll just cut off at wherever you cut off. Over here, unfortunately, you can't change the title name of it, but then it has all these really cool options where you can have it design it to look differently. This black, silver, blue, this scrub wheel kind of looks pretty futuristic. And same with the other ones where you can have like gradient strip. This one's a blue, gradient full, light. You can really play around and customize how you want it for your device. We have the option for these buttons, so let's use them. Over on the bottom, it has these dial actions when pressed and you can choose like no on off where when I press it now I have another parameters where it can just be on off it's on the left so I can see what happens as I roll these. Now we have this let's get back into touch designer and I'm gonna delete this. So how will I use this? I can use a select let me kind of make a little thing where I want to control with this. I'll put a movie file in. And I will have a transform. And I will use a, let's do a HSV adjust. And handy don't dandy null. First thing. It would be fun if this V port can control this transform. So let me first select this V port. It has this very long, annoying name. So <laughs> and I put VH2, CTR14. No, L4. And I renamed this to be rot for rotation. And have a math chop. And right now it is the range is 0 to 127. So 0 to 127. And I want it to be 0 to be 360. So actually negative 360 to full 360. That would be a lot. Let's see what we got. Add a null after this. I will drag and drop into the rotation. Let's see. So if I click on this, it rotate one way, double click, rotate on the other way. So it's gonna be pretty fun and addicting. And let's do this this dial over here where I'm gonna select just copy and paste this. And I want this parameter, which is a con CH5, channel 5, control 1. And this, I will be wanted to control this hue offset, same ne negative 360 to 360. I will name this to be hue. Add a merge over here. Back this. And then I will just drag and drop this hue. That's it. And I can use this style to change the color. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Cool, cool. So this is how you can control the stream deck with the MIDI, but there's also other things you can do with this. So why did I leave this blank? So you can also use this for hotkeys. You, in the stream deck app, you can go into the system and you can choose to have a hotkey. This hotkey, let's say the first one, it would be nice if you have a button where you can split the screen from left to right without having to physically press this button and or if you're lazy to go to like alt bracket you can physically over here have this call it split screen have the text a bit smaller 
Ah, small, small. And click on it so you can just do the short key. And now, if I press the button, I'll split the screen. And I can say I want it to be other way and change a different icon. This will look like something. And I can split the screen as many times as I want by pressing this button. Cool. And what else? I can also have a hotkey for the text editor. The text editor, you can do another hotkey one. You can call it text editor. And the hotkey for that is Alt T. And once I press it, text editor pops up. You can also add a open and have this open touch designer. So and select this application, um, delete the title because it's quite long. But look, now I have the option to just click on this button and it opens a new touch designer window, which is actually on my second monitor. So you can't see that currently. Also have shortcut keys where I can split the screen, open text port, use MIDI, use the dials, and it is amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and showing you this dream deck. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Do you use a stream deck? Let me know if you're also interested in more of these gear related videos. I also recently did a video covering my favorite gear in 2022, and I will put that link. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're serious about taking your touch designer and interactive skills to the next level, I highly recommend you check out the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. It's the only educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer and interactive professionals. You can learn more by checking out the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon for more awesome free content.